all right so viewers welcome once again to our channel of youtube and today we've been here like some time but we were in this particular we were on this field this uh, we we're looking at the environment one can tell and we also know that we once made a video here concerning um, a pastor a hearing that was about 30 acres of land here and today i happen to have a TO with me here so he is going to talk about the kind of variety they have here the type of maize they're having here as at the time we came here there wasn't any maize on this field they did not plant uh, i think that was the time that they were plowing the land but a uh, very to girl today we came back and we are maize all over the field very green and uh, the line is like it, it, they are in a very straight line but then still will be the best person to you know talk about so still welcome to our channel and first of all introduce yourself who are you Tiwo? yeah good morning my name is promise dopa mm -hmm. and a great extension agent at home right. so my catchment area take alone about so many communities here or the Takla community and then i roam about as find the need arise so this minor season we decided to undertake uh, demonstration here using opebro you know opebro is two different names ope means amatan bro means me so because of the climate change we decided to use climate smart agriculture that is to use uh, the variety that can best fit the season you know some time ago you may i mean so maize and then at the end of the day you may not get anything so we decided to use this very variety of okay, bro that can tolerate it may not resist the the drought but it will tolerate it so this is the okay, bro variety okay, yes so we particularly take this variety so that uh, we'll be able to get something at the end of the uh, the, the season right. so we decided to plant using 25 by 75 centimeters okay we want to attain a maximum plant population so that we can get a maximum year year right. you know the land is static mm -hmm. because of factories population increase we how can we get higher year even with the small portion that we have so this is the kind of uh, technology we deduce okay yes so we plan 25 by 75 centimeters apart you know the the, the root zone of the the maze is not wide enough the farmers will plant three three four four and then they will plant half as hardly mm -hmm. meanwhile there's nutrient here there's nutrient here there's nutrient here so we start to split them so that they can have the full vigor of the nutrient around them so this is what we we plan doing we attain uh, plant population in a small area which will increase the yield of the farm and then we also decided to use certain kind of uh, chemical you know when farmers want to spray among the maize they use atrazine powder 2,4-D and then uh, nicotine all right farmers are not chemists to be mixing chemicals so we decided to use this adama product called maizine and nico gold the maizine contains three different uh, active ingredients 2,4-D the nicotine, that is the nicotine, and then the mesotron. The mesotron will take care of the, the weeds that did not okay. germinate yet. It will okay. prolong the, the, uh, the dormancy period. Right. So this is how come you are seeing the farm very neat like this. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, farmers learn by seeing, doing and hearing. So we lay this demonstration here so that if farmers come, they can see. They can see, they can see what we do here. Mm -hmm. They can practice, so, and then later come, on they can come closer to the They can practice whatever we are doing here. Show this so you. this is live from O Municipal. All right. Yeah. So this is basically this is what mm -hmm. we try doing here. All right. Okay. So the most important thing is the plant population. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you, know, there is one thing I want to know. How many acres are we talking about here? Because I, I'm realizing that it's a very vast field. Then. Yes. Yeah. The, the entire farm, like we said, mm. is is about about thirty acres. All right. But the area where we laid the demonstration is half acre. Oh, okay. This one is demonstration. So oh, at okay. the end of the day, we're going to do year studies oh, because okay. we want to show farmers something. So it's not about the acreages, but it's about what we get from the acre. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm all right. I'm I'm seeing the difference, folks. Yes. I'm seeing the difference because looking at the other side of the field, you realize that there is vast difference between that and this particular one on which we are. The way he's talking about that, they, they demonstrated, they did the demonstrations at. So why is it that you decided to do it here and not focusing on the other side of the field? Yes. So we want to do it at the roadside so mm -hmm. that when people are passing, All right. they can have a fair view. When mm -hmm. they are passing, they can just be seeing everything. Mm -hmm. When you do it inside, people will, will not see not because see. we are doing it purposely for farmers to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we know they'll see they learn by seeing, right, doing, right. and hearing. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. So, so you don't want to use this one as a, as a teaser. You yeah. want to use it to tease people. So yes. when they are passing out, they yes. say, what kind of news is this? Yes. All right. Yes. So folks, you are just hearing it from Tiwo. Yes. This is Ope, bro. Mm. Ope, bro. So like he explained, this is, uh, Ope means Hamatan. Mm. <laughs> bro means maze. Mm. So this, what, what he's trying to also tell us that this particular maze we see in here can be able to, you know, withstand drought. So when there is drought, this particular maze can be able to withstand that because Ope Ebu, so during the Hamatan season, this one can withstand, isn't it? Yes, yes and uh, it's, it's a hybrid. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Doug have been saying that uh, during the, when you're about to lay a bigger egg, mm -hmm. you're supposed to allow people to come and see it. Mm -hmm. So this is more like a bigger uh, egg. So okay. we'll do it at the roadside for farmers to see. Mm -hmm. It is said in a way that... Uh, <laughs> Some proverb there. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, that's fine, and I'm so happy we've been able to come here and be able to because myself I've been passing, I've been seeing this, but then I never knew that this what that this is the second behind the greenish nature of this particular cornfield, and uh, I'm glad you are able to explain this to us. Any 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 other yes, thing? Yes, it's not add? about the fertilizer that we use, but right. because. Farmers usually plant like three, four, two mm -hmm. per hole mm -hmm. and give a wider space. Mm -hmm. But the root of the maize is not wide enough to cover all the nutrients at that zone. Okay. So the nutrient at the very zone is being used by all the three maize. Mm -hmm. So we decided to split it so that only one maize will use that nutrient there. Then this one to also use this one so that at the end of the day you have the vigor to produce one. Oh, okay. Yes, we are in hold that a transitional zone and then every other crop can be grown here yeah. right. so day in day out yes yeah so like he's saying day in day out, we are going to bring you more videos concerning some of the uh, different types of crops there because like he's saying different kinds of crops can be grown here in this uh uh how do you call it trans this, area trans yeah. area transitional zone, yeah. transitional zone. so we will be bringing you more contents concerning that and he will be the one that will be taking us on tour since he's a TO, he'll be able to help us to you know get in touch with most of the farmers to educate to give you more education concerning the secrets behind some of the fields the secret behind some of the crops that um sometimes get to certain individuals they are farming you realize that the crops are yielding well and he has a secret because he is an expert in that so he will be taking us to all these zeros farms and he'll be bringing you more education causing all these things so stay tuned and stick and stay with our channel any other thing you want yes, to say uh, before we start we now? do some kind of consultancy too you all know right. we are all over all right yes i'm a crop and soil science. i have bs in crop and soil science so right. with crop with anything about agriculture there, mm -hmm. sometimes we are we are more deaf in free. So right. so if right. I can share my contact so that's, that maybe anybody right. who so wants to come, get in touch. It. So like you said, mm -hmm. anything about agriculture. Mm -hmm. This is what we've been doing for a very long time. Mm -hmm. We're young, but uh, we know mm -hmm. what we do. Exactly. So my contact is 0248 450 540. Let's do it together. You know, exactly. we have a lot of things that we can do to exactly. make ourselves happy. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So, folks, you yeah, just say he's somebody that is an expert in this. He's a graduate for that. This is something that he has gone to school to study. So, like he made mention of the number, I'll be sharing the contact number with you on the screen so that you can be able to, you know, take note of that. So, um, he's an expert. So, whatever you need in terms of court consultancy, whatever you want to, you know, know learn. Uh, but agriculture he is the expert so you just have to contact him and wherever you are he can come all the way to your locality your community and help you to be able to become an expert our greek is the new issue I, I kept saying this all the time a greek is a new thing if you are a young graduate and you're out there and you happen to have a land in your community your village and you are still in a crash struggling hey it's time for you to return home and come and farm and make some good cash out of the family because he has been here and he can testify to that so until then catch you another time in our next video and he's going to lead us to other farms so when you start seeing his face on our screens don't be surprised he's the expert so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to us well thank you very much please subscribe to the channel and hit on the post notification bell for more updates